Hi guys, welcome back. Well, what the hell happened to January? We're already into February and I've got another pickups video for you. In fact, I'm looking at them now. Ooh, biggest Amiga pickup of all time. That's all I'm showing in this video is Amiga games. 42 boxes I've got. Let's get into it. Right, give you a little bit of background information about this pickup. It was basically a friend of mine, Adam Moulton, he contacted me, he said, look, I've got a load of Amiga games at my lockup. Do you know anybody that wants them? Yeah, me. <laughs> um, but originally I only wanted four out of the collection. If I can remember which ones those are, because my apologies, and if I sound nasally still, I think I'm at the end of this stupid cold. It's absolutely not me for six. But anyway, he was getting ready to sell them to a company down south, some sort of, uh, I don't know, retro game company. And they offered him a certain amount and he would have to ship them and they would then grade them and either agree to give him the money that they had offered. Anyway, we haggled for a few days. He has cut me a very sweet deal. I ended up buying the entire lot. There is some duplicates, I'll point those out because I'll certainly be shifting them on straight away. The majority I will probably keep, but there's a few games in here I just don't know anything about. There's no real emotional tie, so I'll look to shift those on. So Adam, thank you very much. I'm really happy with what I've got. Let's get on with this. So I'm, I haven't really got them in an order, but I've got them in, I suppose, box size order. So I'm going to start with the smallest first. Some of these games are absolutely battered beyond belief, uh, but there's a there's a few of them that are absolutely mint, and we'll see that as we go along. So go along, go along. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start with an ocean title. It was a brilliant film, wasn't it? Wasn't that a fantastic film? And that is Nightbreed. Sorry about the reflection there. Nightbreed. This is a brilliant game. If you've never played it, you know, pick it up. The case could do with a little bit of polishing, but instructions. I've already got the game. Discs. I'll compare it with my copy and obviously move the other one on. Now, these next two, I've never seen them packaged like this before. And it says the 16-bit Power Pocket Collection. So they must have done a series of these two. And I don't know how collectible these are, but like I say, I've never seen them packaged like this. Dogs of War. And it's literally in a sleeve, you just peel it back and pull the game out. Dogs of War. And sorry. What the hell's oh Battlebound? <laughs> sorry. Battlebound. No, I have never ever seen them packaged like this. You know, obviously it would have been nice and easy. You know, they have been hanging up, I suppose. Just grab them off and away you go. So there must be more of these to collect. So anybody out there that's got them, let me know. Uh, this next one, again, very small box. Ocean Software. And this game is no pushover. What's that? Is this uh, the function? Featuring Gantt. Or just Gant. G I Ant, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the cold because my head is a little bit mashed. But there you go. Box, it's not too bad. But this next one, it is battered. And it's not going to hold together properly. It's going to need one hell of a repair job if I decide to keep this. I don't know. But it's Systems 3 Silly Putty. And I thought this was such a quirky game when it first came out. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant game. It really is. Right, let's get on with the others. 
just when you think you're finished with those certain sizes you go and find one because you dropped it the box is completely battered in fact really let's be honest the box on this one's binny lemmings but it is absolutely trashed only good for the guts so plus i'm not sure if i've already got this one but i'll have to check it moving on Amiga, I always remember it being really good for flight simulations and F-16 combat pilot is certainly a good one. Cracking guy. Oh, this next one. I played the original, the number one, on Commodore 64 and it was brilliant. Rick Dangerous 2. LED still. Don't know anything about it. Ultimate devastation machine, hey? <laughs> Don't know anything about it. Ooh, now, let me just put this in order a second, because these next two are part of a collection. I can tell that. Uh, but I don't know, I'm assuming, is it GBH Gold? <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But I've got Switchblade 2 there, and the original sticker is a Virgin 999. I'm just to open this one for you, because like I said, I'm not going to open them all. Oh, this looks brand new. What you've also got then is the instruction booklet, of course, the manual, which again is in fantastic, very crisp corners. But what I have noticed when I open this one, GBH Software 92, is this, and I assume it might be, all the games that they had out. So there's a collection here I could maybe decide to go for. So I've got two out of, on the back of this, what's we got, 48? 23 games. So just to show you that, sorry. Terrible. <laughs> 23 games there. I'd imagine there's probably more. But that's that one, so that's, like I say, Switchblade 2. But what I also got, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this one. Shoot'em up construction kit. So I think, Mr. Bads, you're possibly the one to uh, advise me on that. Whether or not, I mean, I mean any of these. <sighs> In realistic terms, I picked them up for a fraction of the original retail price. An absolute fraction. And I haven't got a clue what they're worth. Arnie 2. I've already got this game. I've got the original, uh, I'd say the original release. Stop the game from falling. Corporation. Can't remember playing this originally in the arcades. Oh, Final Fight. Sorry about the reflection. Final Fight. Brilliant game. SWIV. As you can see, the, the box is a brilliant condition. <laughs> Definitely thinking of Mr. Bats now. Paul. Great film, shit game, yeah? <laughs> Predator. And this was one of the original four that I wanted from the collection. Oh, this is such a brilliant game. When I first played this, it just reminded me of the film Alien straight away. You already know what I'm talking about. That's the fantastic alien breed. And oh, if I'm going to be hypercritical, little... Can you even pick that up? Tiniest of scuffs. Tiniest. It's a minter. It's a minter. There's no markings on the box whatsoever. This is one that certainly I've been on the hunt for for quite some time to get at the right price. Believe me, it was purchased at uh, quite easily the right price. Right, those are the little boxes out of the way. It's time to ramp it up with the bigger boxes. Yeah, let's get bigger, baby. Right, this next game was an absolute hit, and up to this point, I don't think I'd ever played anything like it. You were basically God. That is the fantastic 
populous. And apart from one crease in the box at the side there, blemish for it. But what a brilliant game. I've had so much fun playing that game over the years. This next one looks really good on the back. Don't know anything about it, but the box is mint. Alcatraz. This next one, I've already got this in a bigger box version. Plus I'm trying to just put the damn sleeve back into place. <laughs> And that is Microprose's Grand Prix. Obviously this is the smaller box version. So I don't know whether or not I do want to keep it or not, because then I've got both versions. But I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Oh, this next one. I remember when it first came out. And we used to just prat about with it, but I never really got into it. Uh, and this is one of the heaviest games in the entire collection, because the manuals fucking huge and that's deluxe paint 3 but it is a, it's a proper weighty you know oh, Jesus Christ size the fucking man let's, let's get it out let's get this one out so warranty card is that what it was yep e electronics arts warranty card three discs it's just Drop them down there. And one huge, oh, what's this in the middle? Deluxe paint video order form. And a proper chunky manual. Look how thick that is. In fact, there is. Is that 200 odd pages? Not including the blank pages right at the very back. Oh, come on, get there. Yeah, 230 odd pages, 2, 245 <laughs> manual. But if you're certainly into your computer art back then, what a fantastic program that was. Now this next one, I'm certainly gonna be moving on because it's, it's not the way I want to collect. And in all fairness, one of the discs, fortunately it is a bit battered. So I think it's, it, it's gonna be of some use to anybody, but that is the greatest, Jimmy White, Lord the Temptress, which was a brilliant game. The Fantastic Dune. I am still after Dune on its own. But like I say, unfortunately one of the discs is battered and I'm just literally going through. I know it is, there it is. Jimmy White Snooker. It's bent. You'd never stick that in your machine if you wanted to, but if it was me, I would just take that off before putting that in. I'll just find another copy. But this this one's certainly gonna get moved on. And of course, all the manuals in there make this one hef box. But I did that. Now this next one, the, bo <laughs> the box is very well worn, but it can be repaired. And I know I keep saying to you guys, I will do a video on it one day. And I'm gonna hold this carefully because it, it needs it needs re-straightening, it needs a little bit of gluing, it needs putting back. But on, on the whole, it's in a pretty good condition. And that's the fantastic flashback. I mean, look at that box art. It's absolutely fantastic. And what a brilliant game from Delphin Software this was. Did I get that right then? What a brilliant game this was from Delphin Software. Such a fantastic game. I wasted so many hours playing this. I really did. But I really did. The sleeve is fantastic. It just it, it makes it pop. You know, fantastic. Now this next one, this was what certainly one of the four I definitely wanted. Purely because it's got my name in the title. And it says on the front, includes a surprise gift from Heinz. I've not Googled it yet. I want to know what the surprise gift is because it's that one item that's missing from this box. And again, this box is mint. And that is Bill's Tomato Game. <laughs> what a title. I absolutely love it. But it's in brilliant condition. So that's two out of this entire collection that I wanted to keep. Next one, box, little bit dented slightly, but what a fantastic game. 
In fact, this this was really the game that took off this series. The Incredible Street Fighter 2. Such a great game. Such a brilliant game. Ooh. I've not looked at this one much. And I'm sure I've played it looking at the back. But it is the Theatre of Death. And it was knocked down from... <laughs> Let's have a look. Game Sayer. I can't rec I don't recognise the sticker. It was 19.99. It dropped to 9.99. It then went, went for 4.99. But again, the box, it's in cracking condition. And incidentally, these are all complete, or as complete as they can be. Obviously, I don't know what the hell's missing out of that Bill Samarton game, but this looks like a brilliant game. So I'm very interested to uh, give that a go. Now, this next one is, again, one of the four I originally wanted. And if I want to be critical, I'd say the box just slightly pushed in on one side. But what a fantastic game. If you were into your point and click games, you probably already guessed it, this is certainly one of the best of all time. And it's number two, Monkey Island, The Truck's Revenge. This 12 disc epic. It's fantastic. I've got that upside down. Yeah. Sorry. It's fantastic because you can hear the discs flying around inside. But just to all the discs. And what you had back then, remember the security wheels? No. Excellent. Instructions, of course. And what we've also got in here, and I do love flicking through these games that they had out in the day. Yep. Street Fighter 2. Ooh, Scrabble. <laughs> Flashback. Legends of Valor. Remember that being a good one. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Cru Crusaders of Dark Summit. And of course on the back, oh, Loom. Who remembers that? Monkey Island. I'm not going to go through anymore, but it's always nice to find these in there and again plate in the box box even on the inside yeah fantastic just fantastic right so that was number three i think i said oh. <laughs> everything going flying sorry that was number three i think of the original four and this next one if you follow me on instagram and that you'll know all about it the incredible another world and again box if you want to be critical slight little scuff there yay each corner but the quality is brilliant and I've been after a perfect copy like this for some time so I'm really happy to get this back in my collection Right, that was a quick change of the battery. A couple of minutes for me, milliseconds for you. Moving on, Fire Forge. Never played this back in the day. What have we got in the back? Is it a running gun? It certainly looks like a running gun. Sorry. So happy to add that. It looks all right. I've never played this originally. The box, it's got to be a minter, but it is Batman Returns. 
Now this next one I definitely already got in the collection, so I'll compare the two. And what great games these were. I seem to remember playing this more on the Mega Drive back then, but it's the fantastic Desert Strike. Like I say, look at the case. So this is probably one I'm definitely going to be moving on, unfortunately, because I've, like I said, I've already got it. I don't need it. I don't, I don't want to be one of these. That's a super, super rare. I don't want to be just holding games for almost the fun of it, although that seems to be a bit of a silly statement to make there. Uh, this next one, it's part two. And yeah, box needs repair. It's got one blown out corner. It is complete. I mean, I love the way. In fact, it's got two blow up, blown out corners. I mean, the majority of all these are in plastic bags. So they're very well looked after the games. The boxes, Start to show their age, in fact, that's a shame, I've never noticed that before, the, the box is ripped, so. But that is June 2. God, he remembers the film. Originally it was four hours, that, until they chopped it down to, I think, three and a bit. But the original June, oh, God, remember that worm sense. Yeah, the spice that you had to mine. Fantastic game, very similar in some regards to Command and Conquer. Uh, this next game pushed down a little bit, but an absolute classic. It was the sequel to Bubble Bobble, and that was Rainbow Islands. I mean, such a huge game, it's a huge game, huge box, but what is really just a very small, simple game. But brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, this next one, there's a symbol on it that I recognise, and for the life of me, I cannot remember where the hell I've seen this. Um, it's R2, Messengers of Doom. The box is certainly not the greatest, but I don't know if you can make that out there. That symbol. God, there's no chance of making that out. Do me a favour, Google it. Just look at the box up. It looks to be a fantastic adventure game. Uh, obviously a, a, an RPG. Uh, Solaris, hope I'm pronouncing that right, 1993, made in France. But that looks brilliant, so... Rugby, world class, nothing special I suppose about a sports game. Uh, the next one, G-Lock R360, that's a Sega game. And it does look like a pretty good. Do you know what? It does do. It. Oh, God, I can't think of the bloody game now that I'm looking at. It looks very similar to another one of their games as well. You know the one. I just can't think of the damn name at the moment. But that looks brilliant. Oh, I'll spin my chair over a bit. Right, this next one Shadow Fighter. Free Shadow Fighter poster inside, unfortunately the poster's not inside. By famous 2000 AD Judge Dredd and slain artist Greg Staples. Well that's a pity, I would have liked to have seen that. There you have it. And again, very good condition. Let's open this one up. Security wheel. Ooh, there's something different. What? Adam had obviously gone and done. You've got obviously all, all, all the fighting moves, but what he's gone and done is special moves, how to do them. He's obviously cut them out of a magazine and glued those in there. So, oh, it's something a little bit different. I think that adds maybe a little bit more value to the game, but that's quite a chunky manual there. Is it all in English? No. <laughs> Thankfully. And of course, the discs, of which there are four of them. One hell of a squeaky box. So, it's like listening to a bloody nails down a chalkboard. Right, this next one. I've actually already shown this game once, but this is a different version of it. And. Oh, what a shame, but be prepared, it's a simple glue. It's Lemmings Tribes, but as you can see there, 
All it is is the glue scum apart. I can be easily glued back down. Lemmings, tribes, and what's the price of that? Reduced from what's around about 30 quid to a tenner. Box is in cracking condition. Right, we're down to our last four. Down to our last four. <sighs> sure, when this came out, didn't it make all the headlines? In fact, wasn't Parliament talking about this game and how it should be banned and the blood and the gore and everything? Mortal Kombat. Sorry again, the reflection there. Mortal Kombat, what a fantastic fighting game this is. Crazy Cars 3. Last two. And I'm pretty sure I thought I had one of these. I might not have. And again, I mentioned how certainly systems back then, the Amiga, ST, they were very good at flight simulations. And again, this, this box, beautiful condition. Gunship 2000. It's all there, big weighty box. Just pull one out. Again, all the discs are in a bag. A huge big ass manual. And that looks to be like a quick key control guide. Yes, key control summary card. Which is more than bloody one box, I think. Oh, technical supplement for the Amiga. This is what I like about finding this stuff. You know, when it's really complete, get out your buggy. You have also got warranty registration card. That makes it a proper real complete in the box when you get everything. And I think that's fantastic. And this last one, it is an absolute favourite. Uh, me and my wife still play the one on the PlayStation 3 together. It's a fantastic game, it really is, but it has to begin somewhere that is Sid Meier's Civilization. And again, this is a fantastic copy. Look how neat that is. And we'll take one final look inside. Let's drop that there. He's got his original discs all wrapped up in plastic as it was back then. They always kept telling you to make copies of your game. So we've got that as well. Now we've also got book tokens for Christmas. Goes to the bookshops. I don't know what that's doing in there. I don't know if that is actually anything about the game. But you have got the instruction quick guide and then you've got to build your empire instruction booklet. Is it all in English? Yes! <laughs> that is huge! And that's it! That is my Amiga, sorry, my Amiga pickup. That's everything. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this. I hope there's a little bit of memory lane. I haven't got a bit, uh, I have got a bit, sorry. Oh, sorry, this cold really is messing with my mind. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I haven't got a clue what any of this is worth. Some of it I'm going to be looking to move on anyway. So if you're interested in any of it, drop me a line and maybe I'll uh, I'll push it on to your way. Maybe. I'm not going to promise anything because like I say, there's quite a few that I'm going to add to my collection. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll catch you all again. Take care.